Alrighty everyone, welcome back. It is now December 3rd of 2024 and there's no doubt about it that the entire film industry, Hollywood if you will, the entire media is now in shambles for obvious reasons why. Many different actors, actresses, writers, directors, producers out there are beginning to melt down simply all because of how the public, the general public, really pushed back and woke up to all of the lies that have been spewed by the media and by Hollywood. Now, we already know that Hollywood the one major failure coming from them, whether it's the actors, the actresses, whatever it may be, is dragging politics into their careers. That's basically your first mistake that you never do in that business. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. Now, one aspect of the whole situation going on right now with George Clooney has a lot to do with the over overall backlash that he's been getting for the past several weeks now and we all know that George Clooney is not taking that backlash very well. We talked about this just two days ago about what's been going on. He's losing a lot of roles by numerous studios, some of which were not set in stone, others of which were. They were supposed to begin an Ocean's 14 movie that all fell apart because of all the backlash that George Clooney is getting and how so many people now just resent the guy. They resent the actor. Now focusing on Sylvester Stallone and how this connects to George Clooney in a surprising twist, this is where things begin to get very interesting and not necessarily in a good way if you're looking through the lens of Sylvester Stallone. Now, specifically, of course, with actors and actresses like George Clooney and Julia Roberts in the hot seat right now, we all know why, along with them in the entire media and Hollywood, are failing, of course, and falling in financial flames due to the public pushback after being lied to for several years. However, one monumental development going on now involves more to do with George Clooney and Sylvester Stallone, where Clooney created a grudge with the legendary actor. This all had to do with a recent plan that was being put together by CNN that was going to be a special program to promote unity in the country. CNN reportedly was desperate to create an exclusive program where both Stallone and Clooney would sit down and sit next to each other on a stage discussing their political differences as well as their career. This was a plan in the making, as it turns out, for the past two weeks, two and a half weeks, give or take, where they were pressuring Clooney to take part in the interview. Now, Stallone reportedly agreed to the exclusive special behind the scenes and wanted to be the bigger man, especially after how he was re how he was treated from the hosts of The View behind the scenes, where they kicked him off of the show via ABC. Now, Clooney reportedly and specifically informed the producers over at CNN that he does not want to ever associate himself with someone that holds a different political opinion on live television and believes that Stallone would only hurt his acting career in the long run of whatever's left and refused more than three times, as it turns out, to go on the special with Sylvester Stallone. Now, Clooney also made it clear to the producers that he viewed this exclusive interview as something that would damage his image and didn't want to associate himself with an actor that supports sexism and misogyny. This desperate move by CNN was a move to bump up ratings as well, since they are down well over 35% in recent weeks. Now, Stallone was informed about Clooney's cl claims and demands and how he refused and reportedly took it a bit personally, but still at the end of the day played the bigger man and is moving on to go on other programs that both share his political outlook and other programs that also hold different out output outlooks, of course, different political opinions, since Stallone believes in unity and a balanced lifestyle with people. Now, Clooney, on the other hand, toward the end of this aggressive argument with the producers behind the scenes, also labeled Stallone as an opportunist for coming forward with his political opinion and did not want to associate with an opportunist on live television. Now guys, let me just stop right there for one second. Now, on one end, you have Clooney pointing the finger at Stallone, saying he's an opportunist, he's an opportunist, he supports sexism, he supports misogyny, all this nonsense. I mean, is it really all that shocking coming out of Clooney's mouth behind the scenes toward the producers of CNN? I don't think it's all that surprising at all. But when you focus on what also happened with Robert De Niro, you guys may recall 
Robert De Niro wanted nothing to do with appearing on live television on the Jimmy Fallon show. All right, the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. Uh, he did not want to appear on that program with Sylvester Stallone. So that was NBC, by the way, and they were supposed to have a very interesting sit-down by the middle of this month. It all fell apart because De Niro wanted nothing to do with Sylvester Stallone on television. Not live, because the late-night shows are pre-taped, obviously. But he wanted nothing to do with with him on television, all because he has a different political opinion. That's how divided the overall system is right now, how divided the entire country and the world is in certain areas. And I think that's what people like Stallone are trying to mend together, trying to play the bigger man, not play, but to be the bigger man, and to really show that he's all for it. And that's basically what Stallone really is all about, by the way. He's not putting up a facade, he's not putting up an image or trying to appear more than what he really is. That is who he is. He believes in sharing a balanced life style with people. Now again, it's kind of disgusting behavior, the fact that George Clooney wanted nothing to do with Stallone for those reasons and those reasons alone. You would think that at the very minimum, you would want to, you know, come to terms with your overall status and the backlash that you're getting, and you would want to maybe try to make things a little bit better, but I guess not. Moving onwards, Clooney pressured the CNN producers to inform Stallone's team about exactly why he didn't want to associate himself with Stallone, and this was indeed done almost immediately. As of now, Stallone is getting ready to go on programs like Greg Gutfeld, Joe Rogan, and other programs and or podcasts that either align with his outlook or not. Stallone actually thought this interview would serve the country well by bringing two big actors together that share widely different political views. However, much like De Niro shooting down Stallone, Clooney did the same. And again, like I say, are we really surprised? Are we really, really all that shocked? Now look, I love Stallone. I think he's a great great actor and the only criticism that I have that I do have about him and this is my one criticism when it comes to press tours and when it comes to interviews is I don't know why you would want to even go on programs like ABC or CNN. That's just my overall opinion and I get what he's all for. He's all about, you know, uh, being very balanced and all. I get that. But the way that they're treating him or the way that these actors are treating him behind the scenes, I don't think I would even want to give those programs a second chance for even associating with actors like that. That's just my view on things. Whether you disagree or agree with that, that's fine. But overall, Sylvester Stallone, I think, made the right call. Now, look, we know that he's trying to ramp up his press tour to promote things out there like the family Stallone, uh, Tulsa King, and the future of that show, because it is going to be a multiple, you know, uh, season show beyond season two, season three. He wants to make it into a very big thing that's going to last for whoever, you know, how, who knows how long, right? But focusing on Stallone, he has other projects lined up that he wants to announce exclusively on specific programs. Programs like Joe Rogan, as, a, as an example. That's where he also wants to kind of bring his announcements to and share it with the world, and I think that's a good move. Also, hopping on other programs that have differing opinions to his, which is great. But overall, I would like to hear what everyone has to say about all of this below in the comments. Everything ranging from... De Niro's view of Stallone, Clooney's view of Stallone, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys later. Ever.